The only way to truly lose at this game is to stop playing. See, the game is never over, and the objective is always the same. The objective is to improve ourselves or the quality of our being, not the actions that we show to the world, but our true selves. And getting in contact with our true selves or really understanding that the voice or the understanding why we do the things we do, where our decisions have led us and lead us, how we react to situations, it's pretty straightforward. Either we continue to fight and improve the quality of our decisions because most of our decisions are the wrong ones. The decision to not get up off of the couch because you don't feel like it is a bad decision. We tend to see that as not a, really a decision at all, but it is a decision. You have the option to stand up. So we all have our patterns which can be improved. And when we stop trying to improve is when our life declines and it won't turn around from that point. No matter what, external influences will not right the ship of being in a downward spiral of poor choices and therefore poor quality of being. So once we throw in the towel, it's not going to get any better. You can win the lottery and life will still be miserable. We have these false narratives built up in our head that if this happens, then this will be great and things will change. We're always looking for that next change when the only change comes from within us, from examining the inner core of our being and simply identifying our fears because we are so fearful at our base level that we're terrified doesn't mean that we're walking around in a scared state necessarily but we've manifested that fear in our lives i was fearful to talk in front of groups growing up because that's a difficult thing you feel you are being judged and when we're young in our vulnerable states we've many of us have been made to feel highly inferior and i think that's common when you're when you're young when you're out of your element these things happen and we carry that with us those are so profound that for instance talking in front of groups in a speech class i would be terrified any kind i would build it up to be the most you know the scariest thing in the world and when i deconstruct that in hindsight now looking back it just comes comes down to our fears and when we really look at that fear face the fear head on that is how you overcome this whole fear-based reality that most of us inhabit because those fears they are essentially false we have just learned to deal with situations in a certain way so it always our fear response um, or essentially the hope to not feel inferior again or do not to not be put in situations where you can be humiliated well that becomes our full-time job and that's all that matters ego preservation is a bitch and that's what most of us walk around with these deep hidden fears that we we don't even know what they are we just know that we are running from them and we are not trying to have that happen again but facing those fears identifying them it's like alcoholics anonymous you have to admit there's a problem and many of us have a huge problem of fear your most hardened convict is in jail because of fear you know the toughest people have built up facades it's all a facade we're under it all we're all the same and we just have a propensity to give love and take love that's our role in the simulation and that's why we feel better when we are giving back in caught in unselfish patterns because even though many of our deep-seated fears were in situations where we were vulnerable and felt that we were you know made to look silly or, or made to feel and look inferior while these are very powerful emotional things that happen in a young age it's how we carry that with us if we accept that and carry it with us then we'll never be the same but two people experiencing that will react in different ways
I've drastically reduced my fear state in the last year by really putting energy and focus into it. And it's not easy and you don't always move forward. There's hiccups, but it's the only way to go because this is a simulation and that's our objective. And if you don't work towards the objective, you're only making it harder on yourself. And getting caught in a spiral of anger and frustration will kill you. And if you're caught in that, you can get out of it no matter what it is. It, it doesn't matter what's going on around us, it's how we interpret the information. We are data processors and most of us don't have a firewall. We never learned how to put a firewall up or even what it is. So we accept just information and let it stick with us and run as a virus in our program is essentially what it is and there's a blueprint for working through that turning it around and eliminating fear facing our fear that's the key that's the key thanks for watching take care